Okay. So it's 5.33 p.m. 16th of September 2020. Wednesday, right? Wednesday. Yes. So, I was the... Uh, my veggie stew is cooling down. So I, I just ate my bread meal. And I thought I'll make this video uh, before I eat my veggie stew. I'm trying to eat only once a day. However, this morning I did eat my breakfast, my bread meal, and I drank soy latte. My goal, which I'm working towards, is to only eat once a day and give up the coffee. This is actually a very difficult thing to do. I've tried to do it many times, but it's, it's actually quite challenging. So I have to be very conscious about it and think really, you know, plan strategize anyway um so the video i wanted to make was about the post-modern condition well the reason uh, uh, i've had many people mention t.s Eliot, and um, so i just googled t.s Eliot and came up on wikipedia apparently he is like a modern uh, he, he, he modernism <laughs> uh, he, he sort of uh, pioneered modernism in poetry or something uh, so if we go to the Wikipedia um, we will go to let me read that. Something about his themes. It was very like uh, I could rule. I could like uh, you know. I could. Um, I could relate to it, man. Where the hell is this uh, thing? Ah, uh, shit. Let me see if I can. Um, Disillusionment. This illusion. Oh, here we go. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's about his poem, The Wasteland. Uh, anyway, so something about like how. Uh, in the in the in the modern world, like um, you know, people like I think it was sort of like a, a reaction to romanticism. Um, where I think I guess romanticism is like you're having this kind of vision, like you know, like a. Uh, I'm just I'm just I'm just guessing here. Uh, this is kind of thinking out uh, uh, thinking out loud. Um, so so I, I suppose romanticism is like you know you, this is great vision and you're like this striving and and you know maybe there's this kind of um, you know overcoming the odds or something like that and whereas with modernism uh, it's like oh the that kind of a narrative does not exist it's like people. Uh, <laughs> There's that scene in uh, say Private Ryan where one of the soldiers landed on the beach um, on the thing and then he had this helmet on and the bullet hit the helmet and uh, and he he uh, so he it saved him so he picks the helmet up and he goes oh so it's like you're thinking oh this guy's gonna like make it look at how he must be like destined to to go you know to win or something and then the next next scene he gets hit uh, in the head again and he dies so that kind of a situation where and in modernism as i say his literary moment is modern in modernism those kinds of good stories don't exist it's like people you know die before they <laughs> achieve their dreams um uh, you know uh, uh, yeah, it really was such a good sort of summation anyway this this love song of J. Alfred Prof 
proof rock. What about the proof rock? Oh, I think this is where I found it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in uh, okay, the poem. This is about the Wikipedia entry with the poem. I quote the poem described as a quote drama drama of literary anguish and quote is the dramatic interior monologue of an urban man stricken with feelings of isolation and an incapability for decisive action that is said to quote e to epitomize frustration and impotence of the modern individual and quote and quote represent thwarted desires and modern disillusionment i so relate to that uh, uh going on quote proof rock Proof rock <laughs> laments its physical and intellectual inertia. Huh? Yeah, he can't go anywhere. The lost opportunities in his life and lack of spiritual progress, and he is haunted by reminders of unattained carnal love, <laughs> with visceral feelings of weariness, regret, embarrassment, longing, emasculation, sexual frustration, a sense of decay, and an awareness of mortality. Proof rock has become one of the most recognized voices in modern literature. I can relate to a lot of the, um, you know, the um, physical and intellectual inertia, the uh, lack of spiritual progress, weariness, regret, you know, sense of decay, awareness of mortality. I can, I can sort of relate to a lot of those things, you know. Um, so I thought, and apparently, like one of the, uh, there's this, apparently there's this. Uh, apparently the poem starts with something like with such a famous line or something and uh, man. Mm. it's like the uh, uh, like April is the cruelest month or something let me, let me pull April let's see oh come on Apparently it starts with this uh, line called April is the cruelest month and I was thinking why 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 does it start like that April April is the cruelest month and then I was thinking April is like April fools and uh, so th then I was thinking oh maybe the, 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 it's like it's like uh, and given this is modernism like in the, the modern condition is that you are striving like you believe in things okay you believe in your destiny or you believe in something and then you find out that uh you like like life takes it away from you you know you, you fail to achieve whatever you were set out to achieve and then you're like a fool you're like an april's fool like i can't it's like i can't believe i believe in that i can't you know it's sort of like uh you know loss and disillusionment you know like you, you anyway so so that's more that's modernism like that's the, that's the modern condition i think it's sort of like a i think it, it's it's it, uh, Mm, I don't know. Um, let's see where he's. They said that. Uh, mm. Mm. It's like a, a reaction to romanticism. Oh, here's the opening lines. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe that's not the... Uh, oh, apparently that wasn't the uh, <laughs> opening lines. Uh, oh, here we go. Wasteland. Wasteland. That's where the... that the, April is the cruelest month. That's not in uh, the uh, proof rock, it's in the wasteland. Uh, oh, that best known phrases. Uh, okay, so anyway, what, so so what is the postmodern condition? The postmodern condition is like 
the modernism is like you you felt you left with this kind of dis disillusionment you're like what's the point of doing anything you know it's just all gonna you're gonna die it's what's the point postmodernism I think is like um, it's a it's a conscious attempt to create a narrative and so you can it's like you create a story for yourself and you, it's like you know you're doing this you, you, you know you are constantly creating a narrative and you're trying to live your life within that narrative um, and I, I was thinking about the Truman Show right this is something I haven't really I sort of I never really connected this to postmodernism but I think a Truman Show I think might show this because in that show his whole life is being uh, <laughs> manipulated or you know he's like, they're trying to create a story for Truman and Truman is trying to play the part I'm not sure if this is a good uh, interpretation but and and Tr Truman like once he gets out of the Truman show right and he it's like that's when he um, enters into life you know um, what I'm trying to say is And I think the filmmaker was criticizing postmodern narrative storytelling. But what he's saying is like, if you want to live life, you know, if you want to like get out of the narrative, if you want to go, in, uh, you know, if you want to live, <coughs> you have to like, um, you have to stop creating a narrative for yourself. You just have to live life. So the postmodern condition, <clears throat> like if you see American Idol and things like that, you know, is that sort of like a postmodern kind of thing where they're trying to, you know, people are auditioning to be become the star, and it's all very theatrical, you know. <sighs> you know, it's very theatrical. The, the, Anyway, the, <coughs> the way I was thinking about this was I don't think it's possible and I've, I've, had that, I've had this view before as well although I didn't really connect it to postmodernism I don't think it's possible to um, like if you, if you know this let, let's say you you found a square box in front of you. I don't think it's possible to make that square box turn into a sphere. <laughs> no matter how hard you may try intellectually or whatever. So the square box is the truth. So modernism discovered the truth. <laughs> the truth of life is like, you know, it's very horrible. It's like it's very alienating, disillusioning, uh, you know, that's the truth. And first one and isn't tries to escape that truth by creating a personal story. And I'm so, what I'm saying is, no, you just, it's very difficult to create that personal story and maintain that because that's not real. It feels fake. The postmodern condition is like living a life that is almost like fake it's not like a real life uh, it's something that you're trying to c create for yourself but it's like it's like you're not you're not you're not dealing with reality you're trying to escape reality by sheltering yourself within this story and I'm what I'm saying is if you're honest with yourself you can't do that you're going to go back and deal with the reality of the modern condition and um, now having said that i think the truman show at the end, the end of the show truman gets out of that thing and he walks out and we don't know where he is going we don't know what his life is going to be like and i think that is what it means to live life it, uh, living life is not necessarily being like filled with despair you know like if you're if you have the modern condition <laughs> it's not living life is like walking out into the unknown and 
not having some kind of story, whatever, you're not, kind of, you're not pretending to live life, you're actually living life. It means you walk out into the unknown and yeah, you just don't know what's going to happen. And this is also like in Castaway, right? At the end of the movie, uh, he's got all these choices, like, you know, the lanes are going and he, he's like, he's got all these different choices. And um, so the, I, I guess one was a safe choice or something, and, but he, he goes down a road and it's like he doesn't know where he's going, but he takes take this he takes this road and it goes down. And so I guess that is what means to live life is to uh, walk down a path and then not know where it's going to lead you. And you know, yes, there could be disappointments. Yes, there could be disillusionment. There could also be uh, surprises or, or whatever. And um, yeah, I, so I guess the reason, uh, my main take from this video, I think I criticize the postmodern condition because I don't think it's possible to create narratives and live your life as though, because in order to live your life, you really have to be honest with yourself. It's like you can't create stories, fabrications and try and pretend to live a life you know what i mean living a life means ultimately you don't know what's going to happen but you know you're, you're, yeah you have plans and things and all of that but ultimately living means you just don't know what's going to happen but you take a chance and live yeah I mean, anyway.